Oh, wait, I thought it was uh, April 1st blog. Is this real? What is this? Is this real or is it memes? Let's see. Chat, 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 chat. <laughs> chat, but. Sorry, it's it's April. It's April Fools. Hard to know what's what's real, what's not. Here are the results. Last week we announced the beginning of concepts support aircraft carrier equipment, stun bombs, and special consumables. Now we're ready. the main purpose of this new squadrons in the initial conflict was to help allies and allies damage enemy ships with fires and floods. Yes, because fires and floods are notoriously weak in World of Warships, so they need more help dealing damage with that. Wait, hold on. The base idea of an armament that allows you to help your allies deal damage while simultaneously having that damage reflected into your own stats was liked by the test participants. However, many players found the mechanics of stun bombs to be unsuitable for our game, which was further confirmed by the actual test result. Wait, no way. You think it might be a bit dumb to have something like an Iowa that had like a crew of fucking 3,300 sailors to be stunned by a single, single bomb? All 3,000 people were just like, nope. Not gonna do anything anymore. I hope this isn't April's Fools, because this, this 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 worries me, chat. Because this shows this shows. Okay, see, I, I'm actually I'm actually chat. I'm actually really worried now because this shows sound thinking, listening to feedback, logical thought. This might be the April's Fools. This might be the joke. Admitting, listening to feedback. Admitting mistake, backing off from a really shit design. This is, this, this might be the joke. I can't tell. I can't, is it the joke? It, it might be the joke. This implies there's actually humans here looking at feedback and, and, and balance and things. I think this might be the joke. Main problem with sun bombs were their excessive effectiveness in combat against low mobility targets as well as the lack of any mechanisms to counteract the effects of these bombs. You know what would be a good counter wargaming? Uh, giving us AA. Yeah, I know it's it's been it's been it's been three years since the CV rework, but uh, I feel like we could experiment with the idea of the surface ships having some sort of guns that go pew, 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 into the sky and they go pew, 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 and they shoot down the enemy planes so the bombs can't actually always hit us. So that would be counterplay against the planes. That that could, I, I mean, I'm just throwing out some some really crazy ideas that have no basis in history or reality. But like, what what if what if what if the ships had these small guns, not just the big <laughs> guns, but these small <laughs> guns that would be used against planes, and these would deter the attack and like shoot down the planes before they could strike and then, then then maybe you could have many ships close to each other and the carrier wouldn't even be able to strike them and we could call this counter play all right Cray i mean nuts idea nuts idea pretty far out i agree not something we've seen in this game for three years so it's a it's a far left idea i admit but what if we introduce that as a way to counter all these things? Like, there might even be a, a consumable, hear me out, hear me out, this is going to be crazy, but, but, but you know, the consumable might uh, deter the attack, maybe even spread out the attack, so it's not always perfectly accurate. You know, like, when you shoot your guns or drop your torpedoes in a DD, there's, like, random RNG to the torpedoes and stuff. Like, the carriers don't have that. So what if instead we had a consumable, it could have a long cooldown, and it could have obvious tracers, like the guns could have these obvious tracers, and, and this thing, this mechanism, would prevent the strike from being perfect. That would also be a form of counterplay. Okay, okay, I know, I know. okay, pretty, pretty crazy ideas, I admit, pretty crazy ideas, like, I could go further with some really insane ideas, like, uh, what if there were captain perks that allowed you to make these pew pew guns stronger, that, that would also be pretty nuts, maybe even modules, but okay, that's, that's a bit too extreme, but maybe we could just try with the base pew pew being effective, that could be a, 
That could be the, the fireworks. Yes, the fireworks show we have right now. What if instead of it just being a visual effect of like fireworks, like celebrating the, the planes killing you, what if instead of just celebrating it, what if they also did damage to the planes? That crazy idea, but it is April's Fool, so I mean, we can throw out some really nutty, nutty far left ideas here. Maybe, maybe we could consider it. This made battles where players were up against stun bombers an unexp unpleasant experience for most. Wow! No way! See, there's a... Have you, board gaming, maybe noticed that there's been a fair bit of this unpleasantness around lately? Like, for example, when a Naki mob is cycling squadrons on top of you every 30 seconds, it's somewhat of an unpleasant experience like that 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 maybe maybe it maybe explore this idea where you take into account where what it feels like to play against the class and what if you explore this idea and build upon it because like if you're playing a ship and you suddenly start being pinged and pinged and pinged and there's homing torps coming every couple of seconds and you're being pinged every couple of seconds this is also a bit of an unpleasant experience and uh, not very enjoyable, actually. So maybe you could build, maybe Wargaming could build upon this concept that they think about what the player enjoys and then they build upon it. Like, I mean, it's April's Fools. It's crazy ideas being thrown out, but I mean, I realize that this might just be an elaborate April's Fools joke because there's a lot of things here that Wargaming doesn't normally do, like uh, listen to feedback, pull back shit concepts, um, take into account what it's like to play against it. So this might all just be an elaborate joke, but I mean, we, we can build upon it. Like, Taking into account both the test results and your feedback. This is crazy. Like, this might be the April's Fool's this sentence here. We decided to abandon the current stun bomb design and begin developing alternative mechanics and interactions for support aircraft carriers. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. See this 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 line here. Wow. Like imagine if they, they imagine if they built upon this. Taking into account both the test results and your feedback, we decided to abandon the current submarine design. We have decided to abandon the current CV design. I'm being oh my god! Imagine imagine if they built upon this. <sighs> lot of lot of lot of potential. A lot of potential. Whew. Smoke generator and chat consumables. The support consumables receives, received mostly positive feedback as they proved to be effective tactical tools and greatly increased carrier interactions with other ships on the same team. Or oh, are they playing the same game as we are then? That sounds crazy. However, the current concept of the new consumables is still quite unpolished and will require further tweaking and improvements before they can appear in the live version of the game. For now, support aircraft carriers will return to the drawing board where we will continue to improve their mechanics as well as look for new ideas for the squadrons and consumables. See, this is a step in the right direction, but the thing is, we have no reason to be in any way optimistic about any of their reworks. We, we really don't. Like, the, the, achieve, the, the research, the legendary upgrades rework. You notice that Wargaming has basically abandoned legendary upgrades. When, when was the last time we got a new legendary upgrade? Ever since they threw them away into the research bureau, they forgot about them. Like, half the ships have a legendary upgrade, the other ones don't. They just abandoned that entire thing and pretended they don't exist anymore. So that entire rework basically ruined legendary upgrades permanently. And the new mechanic of getting them is hated by everyone. The old mechanic was much better where you just played a ship to get it. And um, the entire submarine shit show, we haven't had a new map in ages because of it. Like it's actively made the game worse. Like the entire mapping department has been stuck making these underwater worlds that have gotten people stuck and glitched for the last three years. Once again, not hasn't improved and now we finally have subs after god knows how many tests and shit and it's good dog shit the experience like games without subs are more enjoyable than games with subs that that's really the simplest way to put it games without submarines are more more enjoyable than games with submarines that's it that's all you need to know 
obviously that's a downgrade in game enjoyment. The commander rework. Suddenly we require 700,000 commander XP to go from 20 to 21 points. And many of the builds are still just the same. There's been a handful of new skills, but besides that, uh, the, ex the expense has fucking exploded. So, and then of course we have the major issue, which is CV rework, where the point was they were wanted to make the class more integrated with the rest of the ships. It hasn't. It's less. Our consumables don't work against the uh, CVs. Our captain skills don't work against CVs. Our modules don't work against CVs. They're still playing their own individual game where they just fly around and strike things and they care even less. They're, they're even less integrated with the rest of the game. And uh, their effectiveness has gone up. Their damage has gone up. Like CV rework CVs do more damage than RTS CVs. E everything, every, every rework, everything, they are like a reverse Midas. Everything they touch turns into shit. So I'm not too up. I have a hard time being very optimistic about this because now they're touching upon something that is already shit. So will it start to rot or something? I don't know, but it's it's questionable. It's it's incredibly questionable. just it's hard to be optimistic when with their track record cvs have the same thing games without cvs are more enjoyable than games with cvs if that's the situation then what do you do maybe and two negatives make a positive well fun well f we'll see doubtful